Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Trail. Well, stuff's going down. Let's go find about Aaron, Aaronville's mother and hometown. Walk them up to give me some boots. Oh wait, did I ever? Oh yeah, it's from the daily I did. Together as one. Before investigating the dome, walk them up, which is to see to one important matter. I know we're in a hurry to set off, but before we do, I need to address my people. The peace we swore to uphold has been shattered. They need to understand what's happened and how we intend to fix it. So I want to call an assembly at the winged walk and assure them all, assure them that all will be well. But shaken as they are, I don't know how many will come. If those who are most distressed, it's those who are most distressed that truly need to hear your words. If you like, I shall seek out such souls and encourage them to attend. I'll help too. This is an important step in the city's recovery. Care to join us, Bader? While you handle that, Aaronville and I will see the provisions for the expedition. Did I get it? Darn. Let's try and get a fly. Thank you. I'll go ahead and have the lands guard announce the address. People must first know there's going to be one before they can decide whether or not they want to hear it. If you could see to the resplendent quarter of Bayside Bevy, Alize and I will split up the rest of the city between us. All right. This talk of reflection is perplexing, to say the least. I should be glad for your help in understanding and overcoming the, this crisis. It's embarrassing to think how Zoralja caught me unawares, but I've no doubt the bastard came, came to kill me. I reckon he would have succeeded were anyone else. Who would have thought him taking the key would lead to all of this? I have I have a mind to inform Thancred and Arianje as well, but they may have already left Toro. I doubt it. I think they're still around. I should have to examine one of these mechanical soldiers later. Yeah, there we go. Do that. I mentioned that last time. Dissect and see what makes them tick. Your stroll is on the case. Miss, I have different audio quality than the rest so far. Yeah, it's fine. Just something I picked up. So, uh, it's been a couple days. I'm back. I've been busy all weekend. It is now Monday. I after work. I ate. Be laying down soon, but I'm like, yeah, I want to do something. I could do a little more triangle strategy, which will be uploaded one day. Uh, an Elden Ring peeved me off. So I'm taking a break from that. If you're wondering, oh, you got the DLC? Is that why you're peeved off? No, I'm just in my least favorite dungeon in the game, and I got annihilated hard. Sadly, it happens, but yeah, that was my kryptonite. If Tuliola falls to the enemy, what will happen to us? To our homes, our farms, everything we've worked so hard to build. Lives and communities and histories. All reduced to ash by these merciless villains. I heard Val walk Luma is planning to address the people. But what's the point? What can she do? What can she and her brother possibly have to say? Go there and find out, man. Really? The Dawn Servants have already have a plan already? They've lost so much, yet they're prepared to carry on. And standing around about sorry, I was right. And standing around worrying about what's to come will change nothing. It will be a lie to say I'm hopeful for the future, but I'll go and hear what they intend to do. Yeah. Because even if the speech is as optimistic and all this is possible, that still looms in their skies. I really hope if anyone's watching this, probably not many, if a couple, you're liking the way I'm doing this because, yeah, I, I tried the camera for that one episode and I was like, eh, well, I'll take it off for now. But I'm not doing voices because I can't do voices and I always forget what voice I leave people, so I'm just reading it in my normal voice. And I try to say, oh, this is who's saying it in case I. And that's just the way I'm doing it. And it's working for me at least. I still can't believe we were attacked. For mercy, my family is spared. I don't know how I would have done had 
they come to harm. I understand Val Wolklema is going to make an address soon. I'll be there, of course. This person does not need to be persuaded to attend Wolklema's address. Okay, so we he got lucky, and his family did, which is great. There's going to be those, though, who aren't taking it well. Yeah, please leave me be. My father's gone. Leave me the board. Listen, you have to go, man. Hulu, Hulu Jaja is slain, and yet Val Wakuma and Val Kona still fight for our nation. For us. Very well. They would speak. The least I can do is listen. Okay, I'm really hoping right now uh, my power stays up because it's actually starting to thunderstorm pretty darn good out. And let me tell you, after a hard day of work, nothing more like the power outage. Usually they don't happen, but we'll see. It's not safe here. Not anymore. I could leave Turl, but where else is there to go? You. You look like a well-trained, tra uh, well-traveled sort. Please, I can't stay here. I fear nowhere in Turl is beyond the enemy's reach. Woodlands across the salt. Uh, they're no safer. They're gonna come. I know, I know. Even if it ran, I, I know I'd regret the end. I love Turl. This is my home. I know the Dawn Servants would give their lives to defend her. I'll put my faith in them and listen to what they have to say. Alright, it's three of three. I do these side quests one day. But I want to use the job one when I, um... I want to do that when I have my classes up to the level I'm a lot. You start doing those. So, like I said last time, Gunbreaker and Sage, these two are ready, so that's Tank and Healer. And then Magical Range is probably going to be Summoner, but I'm going to have to do another class because I don't feel like doing all my hot bars for that. But main pick, though. But I will do all the roll class quests. I'll make our own separate video. But definitely not the right time for that. Oh, that thunder's loud. You know, I'm gonna attempt fate. Worst of the worst, this entire... Mm, no, because that can get corrupted now I think about it. Alright. I'm doing this real quick. I know it's gonna mess with the, uh, you know, hot things real quick, but... Yeah. Ah, you know what, you can wait. Nah, we'll do you now. Of everything, you're kind of important. Ah, no, you wait. You'll screw up my time codes for my YouTube videos. I like to have the quest name as a chapter. Composed Merchant. Whew, the wires are mostly intact. Glad tidings for my clients. Oh, sorry, friend, but I have no time to spare. Val Wacklemont and Valcona will soon be giving a public address. I have to finish taking inventory before then. Given the circumstances, it must be quite important. You want to be there as well. This person does not need to be persuaded. Everyone's doing their crafting. I can't leave now. What if those soldiers come back? And what are those strange machines looming overhead? Because I have so many questions. I see. Put my mind at ease to learn something, anything of the threat would face. All right then. I'll go the winged walk. Thank you. I feel better. I feel, yeah, I feel better already, and likely better still once I hear what the Dawn Servants have to say. So many people crafting in this destruction. Phew, clean up is tiring work. You've been busy helping us as well, I'm guessing. Right now it's tough for everyone, but Tuliolo won't succumb to this. With new Dawn servants to protect and lead us, we'll get through it together. Alright, he's good. Let's see, I gotta be cheeky and stick one up here. It doesn't look like it. Okay. Back down I go. Okay. 
Hey, man. I need to stock up on food and medicine as much as I can. What else is there? I can't afford to forget anything. Oh, uh, man, this one sounds familiar. A couple of years ago. Sorry, sir. I'm busy. Too much to do in too little time. There's no telling when those stone men will return. I have to get out here. Find somewhere safe. It's... Chill, man. Just chill. Bow Welcome Up wants to speak to us. Perhaps she has a plan, then. I suppose there's no harm in hearing what she has to say. Yeah, it kind of reminds me. At a point in my bloody life, toilet paper was gold. Hey, man, how you doing? Whatever it is, I don't have the time. I have to finish repairing this car. There's only so much time I can carry on my back. When those hollow devils come again, I need to be ready. Val Walkle Mutt and Valcona, meanwhile, they're young and inex inexperienced. They can barely look after themselves. If we're to survive, I do not know if we can count on them. They're gonna strike back at the enemy, so they're re resolved to face this. Maybe it's too early to be thinking of running. Alright, I'll go here with their dress. There we go. And we're going back there. I'm taking the Aetherite. I'm not walking. So I take it, the first half of this expansion is the right of succession. And now the second half of this expansion is going to be war over Tuliola. Tuliola. Come on, Zidane. Keep up. <laughs> All right, here we are. Oh, okay. I was discussing the gate of the Golden City to go the Golden City with Ketaram. He has been patiently answering my few questions. Did you not see Alizé on your way here? No, actually, I did not. Braha? It seems Kral and Aaronville have yet to return. Still busy making preparations for our expedition, I presume. We are missing three people. Thank you again for spreading the word of our address. I fear those who needed assurance most would not have been present otherwise. A few questions. More like bleeding broadside of them. Took me back... Took me back to me time with Galif it did. Shalion scholars, I swear. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna talk your ear off. It looks like you brought quite... Uh, brought quite a few people, thank you. Alizé has actually returned ahead of you, but upon hearing that you are still out there, she decided she was unsatisfied with her own efforts and left again. Ah, I'm making a little competition out of it again. She's probably still not happy I beat her that one time. My apologies for involving you all in trolly tro affairs. We are simply helping a dear dear friend's need. Having traveled lands of Turl, sharing the rich cultures of your people, I can see it no other way. What's more, Zorolja and his army pose a threat not only to Turl, but the whole star as a whole. We will stand with you to protect what you hold dear. Thank you. I don't expect you had much, if any, rest. How are you holding up? I'm fine, thanks. To a little encouragement from Bader. The lighting in here is making you look old. Like, extremely old, both of you. You needn't worry about me either. Whether Whatever weariness I feel is no match for the desire to protect my people. We will restore peace to the nation and preserve our father's legacy. And it begins by speaking to the people from our hearts. Right.
I would say he's probably proud to see these two doing their best to pick up Dawn's servant in their father's stead. But after the destruction, and he probably still feels a little guilty. Maybe. We need to see a few things first, but feel free to go ahead to the plaza and wait. Their father raised them well. He was a fine man. That he did. I got a feeling, and this is just a feeling, one of the... Oh, I'll say it after. One of the savage, savage uh, trial fights is going to be Golu Jaja in his prime. Just a feeling. I got a feeling it's going to be one of the savages, a minstrel song. Okay, cutscene. I'm going to have coffee. Oh, Bakushaja's alive. Good, good. I was actually worried for him. Namachi. Are you all right? Yes. Don't worry. I'm ready for it. The fear, and sadness, and anger. Everything. There goes the resolve. I am the reason to your resolve. But more than that, I am your brother. You needn't bear this burden alone. Remember this. Bringing reason into the situation. As you likely already know, my father, our former Dawn servant, lost his life in the recent attack. <laughs> he challenged the enemy leader to a duel and fought with skill and valor, and for a moment we believed he had won. But wielding an unknown power, his foe returned from death and struck him down. I could only watch as this happened. I could not tarnish my father's honor by interfering. Many of you have suffered terribly. You've taken wounds. You've lost friends and family. As vow of resolve, I failed in my duty to protect you. Words can't express the shame and regret I feel. And as much as it pains me to reveal this, the enemy leader was none other than my brother Zoralsha. Zorolta? It's true! I saw him! We believe he staged the attack from Yasulani, which has been encased within a mysterious dome. I know that you're concerned for your loved ones there as well. But mark my words, I won't let Zorolta torment us any further. Our father gave his life to protect our nation, and I'm prepared to do the same. You say that, but those metal monstrosities are still up there in the sky. What are you going to do about them? Someone was bound to ask that question. I expected it.
The enemy is still on our doorstep, and waiting for them to strike again accomplishes nothing. That's why we're going to strike first. We are going to take the battle straight to Zorolja and put an end to it all. And while my sister sallies forth, I will take charge of the city's defenses. Not another soul will come to harm. We swear to you. Like our father before us, we will lead with resolve and reason to restore peace to our nation. So please, have patience and faith. <laughs> so the resolve goes on the attack, while reason shores up the defenses. Sounds like a fine plan. Needless to say, you can count on my sword. Dural's my home, and I'll do my part for it. Oh, sweet. Show my team, man. Here, here, brother. That makes two of us. Uh, or was that two of we? Ah, uh, never mind that. What of the rest of you? Will you let others do the work? Or will you do your part and fight? We fight. We fight. We're two Leolins because we're united. We'll stand with you and weather this storm. He's right. This is our nation and it falls to us to protect it. We'll fight too. For Tuliola! Me too! Me too! We're all together in this! Thank you, everyone. Thank you. We've already learned much about our foe. And we will continue to learn more. In time, we will have the means to make their warships fall from the sky. When we join hands with our countrymen and our allies from afar, we're stronger than we dare to hope. Together, let us show the enemy the might of Tuli Yolal. You are the beating heart of our nation, each and every one of you. Uncertain days lie ahead, but for now I ask you to persevere, to go about your lives as you always do. Only then, can we ensure we have the resources to see our nation through these trials? And when the time comes, we will strike! Toliyola will not fall. We will prevail, and peace and happiness will be ours again. Well, it is inspiring to see such diverse peoples rally at one, as one. The people of Turl have come, come together for this fight. We must endeavor not to fail them. I'm glad to see many people came. I wasn't sure how many I won over, so I decided to keep at it. That was a rallying speech, was it not? Let us do our part and ensure that the Daon servants can fulfill their promise to the people. 
Braha, how you doing? Listening to Walk Lamont and Kona, I was reminded of my time in the first. While the Exarch was no king, I often found myself speaking before the people, the Crystarium, in like, in like manner. Although through the de their deeds, they answered me. Yeah, that is a Shadowbringer story. I'll be one day, maybe, if I feel like we're playing it. The people of Toril, too, will rise the occasion. This I can tell. Oh, those boots aren't bad. I'm gonna wait until I have the entire set. <laughs> Which... Actually, wait. Uh, no, I don't have the gloves. Titanium. Oh, yeah, actually, I'm missing quite a few pieces. Yeah. Alpha node? And Yasalani's shadow. Alpha node's considering how best to help carry out Waklamut's plan. Well, the hour of departure is at hand. Those of us remaining here shall accompany you parlor. I, for one, would like to see the dome firsthand. We set forth as soon as everyone is ready. I'll inform Wakul Mutt that. <laughs> there you all are. I mean, we haven't moved. Ah, Lamati. We are planning to call you. Are you ready to leave? I am. Seeing the people come together as one, knowing they haven't given up hope. It was all the encouragement I could ask for. Right then, let's get going. We'll leave from the Zoctoral Skygate. Alright, let's go. You know, just hit me. The quest accepted theme kind of reminds me of the uh, little breaks that One Piece would take. Do -do 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 -do. I think it's Luffy. All right, we're using a teleporter because I'm lazy. Yeah. All right, we're here. The sky gate. Kona and Ketaram will continue to manage affairs at the palace. Once I've inspected the dome, I will join them to make preparations against further incursions. Even from afar, I can sense something isn't right about that dome. As Lamatu says, let's stay vigilant. We should have everything we need for the expedition, from food to medicine to gear. It's quite amazing how much you can fit in Aranville, Aranville's rucksack. The dome appears to lie well beyond Shaloni. Good thing we have Aranville to guide us. Just like Yasalani isn't exactly a short distance from Shaloni. If the train isn't operating, we'll need to consider other means of travel. Oh yeah, so you know they're talking about his bag, right? One second, where's accessories? I always forget. I'm, uh, I'm, mm. Action stance, face wear. Ah, fashion accessories. Here, I can use this. Just like Aaronville's, too. They gave it to you when you finished beating the main story of Endwalker. Uh, I mean, the story with all the patches, too, not just the story story. Yeah, let's take it off. Walk, let's go. Everyone here? Good. This is it, my friends. We go to strike down Zoroja and secure peace for Tyrol. Tyrolio. Tyrol we'll be passing through Shaloni, where there have been reports of enemy movement, so stay sharp. Yeah, I... Hmm... I don't know how to land where the dome is going to be. I don't know what the dome's done. 
It came out like an explosion, so... Yeah. Landsgarth told me about them. They emerged from the dome in quick succession and took the... and took to looming overhead. A display of force, like the vessels in Terlolo. Terlolo. Indeed. And while they haven't taken any aggressive actions, I want to see how things are in the area before I move. Things are in the area before I move on. We'll be passing a few settlements on the way to Shaloni Station. It's the perfect opportunity to look around. In that case, Bader and I know a few locals who can help. Yeah, the gunslinger guy. Then let's divide into two groups. Aaronville, Alize, and Bader will come with me to inquire about the locals. Meanwhile, the rest of you can go inspect the dome. Understood. Once everyone has finished, let's reconvene at Shloney Station. I want to go to the dome. We can start at Asuta Way. Asuta Way. That's where the Dust Watch is based, if I remember correctly. You do. The Sheriff Kema Kemaka should be able to tell us a few things. Off we go. Ominous clouds. Yeah. There's the dome. So is the dome a teleporter of sorts? Hmm. I really gotta do these side quests, but right now it would be terrible to do it because it will just mess with the flow. I should have hopped on the mount, I know this. I'm gonna do that for now on. There's also Aetherite Crystal that... Eh, nah. You know, I haven't been in here. Oh yeah, it's like we're walking the Red Dead Redemption. Or even the... Uh, God. What is it? Red Dead Revolver. Alright. The people of the wilds are brave indeed to remain here with those ships overhead. Everything seems in order at a glance. So this region has its own peacekeeping force. Hey, Kameka. Oh, it's you two, and I'll be Val Waklama as well. You're the sheriff at the Dust Watch, yes? What's the situation here in Haswati? Well, the enemy hasn't tried to pick fights with us yet. The ships gave us a shock when they first appeared, but they've just been floating there, holding position. That said, I received some unsettling reports from elsewhere. We've been in investigating to the ex ex extent we can. Or spread thin, haven't looked into in on Shen's Tishi Onesie Springs yet. Apparently, mechanical soldiers were seen in the vicinity. What? If this is true, the people the people there are in danger. I worry about the other town ships as well. If the rest of you could head to the springs, I'll pay visit the Mahuatis zone. I'll accompany Aaronville. See you all in a while. All right, I'll see you. Uh, I'm too lazy. Well, I can tell if they're all right because I have quests there I can accept. Man, we got close to the dome. And I'll clear this way. The mechanical soldiers don't seem to be in the area. Still, we should talk to the locals. Let's each make rounds and see what we can learn. All right. I don't need anything mended because I got new gear. 
Well, I'm slowly getting new gear. Alright. We'll ignore you. Ooh, that was good yawn. Alright, I know someone's over here. Let me talk to you. Ah, good. Railroad clerk. Oh, you're the ones who helped us the other day. Walika and the others are investigating, and they confirmed that Nita Wiki is safe. It was after the train has begun its journey back here that the dome appeared. So, those riding the train, riding the train, then are fine. But we don't know what's become of those who disembarked in Yasalana. What a mess. And after we finish fixing the tracks. Alright. The train's fine. We still won't be able to ride up to there because the tracks are probably going to be damaged. Ah, there is one. A mechanical shoulder, soldier shows not a sign of life. It appears to have been run through with a pole arm. Aaron, oh, wait, Estinian, Estinian's here. Right, Estinian just, okay, he's still around doing his thing. Hey, Yachty. Pager, you come. As you can see, we're doing all right. After those ships appeared in the sky, soldiers clad in white showed up and surrounded the town. But to our surprise and relief, a traveler came along and dealt with them all in a flash. I'll never forget the way he soared through the air, spear in hand. Shame I never had the chance to ask his name. We're all safe to, thanks to him. I can't say the same for the folks in Yasalani. We haven't heard of anyone there. I, now Mika is, well... Okay, so yeah, Stinian's doing his thing, which is great. You heard about the Spearman as well. That couldn't be anyone else. What's this? Someone spread more gossip about me. Wait, what? Oh, okay. No, he's there. You're confusing here for a second. Talk of how I saved the town travels feel fast. That's no discount to help my friend here. Of course, we gave those machines a real beating. I thought you'd come sooner or later. Do you know what's happening? So, you are indeed the one keeping the people safe. Thank you. Think of nothing. Think nothing of it. The automata aren't particularly strong. But the rumors are true. Galu Jaja slain. I'm afraid so. Zoroja used some dirty trick to get the better of him. We'll make him pay for what he's done. Mark my words. You're going to help her, I assume. I see. With your contingent, you won't lack for strength. In which case, I'll remain in Shiloni and keep an eye on things. That helps us more than you'll know. I'll send word to my brother before we set off. Find yourself in trouble. Don't hesitate to, hesitate to contact Kona. Kona? Brother? Wait a second! You're the Vow Resolve. I am, and you're Sekawa, right? I'll be counting on you to keep everyone here safe. Absolutely. If more of those hollow men show up, I'll send them packing. I'm the fastest gun in Shaloni. After all, Bayer can attest to that. <laughs> that I can. Glad you're here. We'll leave, Sh we'll leave Shaloni in your capable hands. Let's get patrol right away then. 
Well, I didn't expect those two to team up, but yeah, this is happening. Stay safe out there and don't get do anything reckless. Wasted words, eh? Just do what comes naturally. Sorry about that. Right then, it's time we head to the station to join the others. Someone asked for information about something, so I pause it to answer him. Alright. Alright, what random mountain am I getting today? being text right now. All right. Hey, the train's there. How is that? I see those soldiers only appear from Shen's and Wednesday Springs. Could they have been after the Cerulean? I see these people are still near safe. Low relief. Mahawati Song is still safe, but the animals are unsettled by a recent events. The dome is absolutely massive. What matter, matter, kingdom do you suppose is claimed, is claimed within its borders? I don't know. I heard from Walk with not Lot that Stingin's here as well. With him to watch over them, the people of Shaloni will have not to fear. Raha and I visited the settlements west of here. Thankfully, there was no damage or casualties to speak of. Again, I'm gonna pause. I'm texting. Sorry, sorry. I'm back. I swear. Thanks, Estinian. There are no casualties to speak of in Shaloni. The Hasara were safe as well. At the very least, there were no sightings of soldiers there. How about the dome? Did you learn anything of note? It is composed of exceedingly high concentrations of lightning energy. If you even touch the barrier, it will prove fatal. When approaching it, we must exercise all caution. But how are we supposed to get inside? If Zorolja and his army emerge from within, there ought to be an entrance. An entrance, you say? It so happens we might have an inkling where one is. These are all the engineers of the Zocturol Railing, which operates the train between Shaloni and y Yasolini. When we went out to recover the train, we had ourselves a look at the dome through the telescope. It was then we saw it, a large fortress-like structure that looked like it straddled the dome's edge. You're telling us part of it is inside and part of it is outside. That seemed to be the case, yes. While we only observe from afar, the soldiers were coming and going from it. From that, I'd say it serves as a passageway between the outside world and whatever's inside. But do you expect the area was heavily defended? It won't be easy to get near. Do you know what's become of the passengers who went into the Yasalani? Wakulmut's nursemaid was among them, a woman named Nam Nam Namika. What? I'm afraid not. Only the passengers who were heading back here are accounted for. I can say for a fact that everything was fine when we arrived in Yasalani. But when that big tremor struck not long after I le we left the station, I hit the emergency brakes and looked back, and all I could see was the dome. What's more, the fortress sits right on the tracks of all places. Or the odds of that, eh?
Assuming that this fortress serves as a means to pass through the dome, we should first determine how we reach it undetected. I don't care if we're detected. I say we smash our way inside. The train? We're using the train? Despite how it sounds, I actually gave this some thought. Zorolja wants me to prove that I'm father's worthy successor. But fail, he de he'll destroy Toru Tliola. By charging it in head on, I make my attentions play as day. And in doing so, keep his eyes on me. Oh, we're using the train. A bold strategy, I like it. Of course, your plan would be no good if you're cut down before reaching the base. What you need is something that'll get you there quick and break through their defenses with a single decisive blow. We have what, <laughs> and we have just that. Since the tracks go straight to the fortress, we can reinforce our train with the armor, load her full of fuel she'll carry, and send her hurtling at it to explode impact. Jeez, have you gone insane? You were just saying how relieved you were when the train was in one piece, and now you want to turn it into a bomb? Well, it's either that or we'll die. The train's not important. Our dream was to have railroads running from coast to coast, remember? If these invaders have their way, there may not be any more ra railroads, let alone trains to run on them. Is that what you want? sacrifice we have to make. These good folks are willing to put their lives on the line to get inside that dome and put a stop to all this. The least we can do is help them. The chief. Listen, no matter how hard things get may get, no matter how many times we fail, fall, we can always get back up. As long as we're alive, we can always build another train. So have faith and quit your complaining. But what if we really, really, what if we fall really, really hard? There's no way to get back up if we're dead. No one's dying on this train. I'll see to it myself. Needless to say, this will be a one-way trip, and we'll need to jump off at the last moment if we don't want to go out in a blaze of glory. You all right with that? Well, hopefully nothing goes wrong. There's no changing our mind, is there? Just promise you'll be careful out there, honey. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I get that. I, yeah, I'm gonna say it. We won't leave you with any sorrows to drown. Drown. Never fear. Seeing as I never had a drink in my life, I certainly hope not. It'd be a lie to say the loss of the train doesn't concern me. Oh, good friends and my loving wife beside me. That's all I need in the end. Well, at least it'll go down as the legendary train that saved Troll. That will. But first, we've got work to do, so she'll look the part. I don't know much about magic, magic tech, but if there's anything I can do to help, you need to, let's say the word. Well, keep that in mind. If you're willing, willing and able to lend a hand, there's work that he's doing over at the storehouse. It seems we have a path forward. I believe this is a good time for me to return to Tuliolo and inform Kona of the situation. 
I shall return as well. I have new investigations to pursue. The dome's elect elemental aspect is similar to that of the gate of the Golden City. If we can identify a connection, we may learn something of use in our fight. It's one mystery after the next, but at least we're not without clues. It may not be easy, but I know we can bring this get through this together. Roger Dodger. Trans explosive is a brazen plan. We'll have but one attempt, so we best make it count. The ship seems content to remain wait the ships uh seem content waiting in the skies. So let's take this opportunity to do what we can to prepare. I hope Namika is safe. Well, we have our plan. Now let's finish the train and blast our way into the dome. Even only just having met them, I can see how important the train is to walk. Wawalika and the engineers. We can't let their sacrifice be for nothing. Uh, people keep texting me. I am sorry. Putting planes in the locomotion. <laughs> oh, it's plans. God damn it. Why am I doing this? Putting plans in locomotion. Your plan is set, but Gratia is still without reservations. I'll only be going about half an hour more. Well, I have no objections to the plan itself. I have one concern. How could it be certain Zoroja will not strike Tuliolo in retaliation? I consider the possibility, but when my brother told me to come and prove myself, he meant it. He wants to show his kingdom it's superior... He wants to show that his kingdom is superior to Tuliol. And it'll give him no satisfaction to attack when he knows I'm not there. No, he'll be waiting inside the dome, waiting for us to challenge him so he can crush us and prove his strength. Indeed, if anything, we're more likely to put Tuliol in danger by not taking the fight to him. So we indulge Zorolja, at least, until Tilyolo is shored up its defenses. Right, we'll charge it from the front and keep his eyes on us. During which time, Kona will find a way to fortify Tilyolo. If you believe this is the best course, then we shall trust in your judgment. I expect there will be no uh, small amount of enemy resistance, but we will do all in our power to assist you. Thank you. Well... Time's of the essence. Let's go see what's left to be done for the train. Alright. Second quest in the game where I'm assisting a train. Hey, walk. Leave him alone. He's working. Everyone's hard at work on the train. I can't wait to see how it turns out. Looks like work is getting underway. We'll finish in no time at all. So what can we do with it? What, so what can we do to help? No need to hold back. As I understand it, the two of you met your fair share of craftsmen during the right succession. Would you happen to know a few who would be willing to come and help us complete modifications to the train? Of course, what sort of craftsmen do you have in mind? Let's see now. Oh, are we getting the green hair guy, the jeweler? Perhaps uh, my greatest concern is keeping the train safe from enemy attacks. Even with you all aboard to fend them off, it'll be over in an instant if they manage to get one good shot on the Cerulean tanks. 
important eyewitnesses, the soldiers use lightning-based weapons. So I have a mind to install grounding rods. We happen to know a carpenter can handle that. <laughs> I want to. I'm going to be serious. We could ask Wakavu. A master carpenter of Okahana, then, eh? If they be willing, we'd be glad to have them. No objection for me, just be sure not to forget their traditional greeting. But we'll need more just carpenter if we want to get this done in a timely fashion. We got loads of equipment that needs moving, heavy equipment. I don't suppose you know- Aha! The Yakoi! No. How about the Zumurur? The mirror would be perfect. We'd be hard pressing to find folks stronger than the Akoi. I am certain he'd be willing to help. Your friends are the Akoi. I'll be damned. Well, not not want for strength with help like that. Are we bringing everyone together at the very end that we've been? Yeah, we are bringing everyone together. Next, I'll like to outfit the train with some powerful weaponry of its own. Like, it, like as not, the soldiers will be riding their flying vessels. We'll need countermeasures to deal with them. That's true. I, for one, can't use magic. No one in my hand do with a firearm like my brother. Any ideas for ranged weapon with Muse? Just... Let's just borrow guns from... Co uh... No, mm, no... How about ballistas? Delicious, eh? Well, the, yeah, I thought so. Perhaps I could be assistance. Oh, wait, is Bliss the right answer? The Crystarium employed etheric cannons for its defenses. I see no reason why the design can't be adopted for your train. While I did not conceive them myself, I know their design. It should be possible to build them here, provided we have the requisite materials and skilled smiths. Now, that sounds like something Fontaine could help with. What are the materials we need? The barrel can be fashioned from any metal, so long as it's highly conductive to aether. The power of the cannon will require fire aspected crystals of the highest purity. Fire crystals, eh? Might be as the mine might be as the miners over in Springs can help us with that. Then if I could leave you the crystals and smiths in everyone's hand everyone's hands, I shall get started drafting up the schematics. Right then, I'll secure the smiths. In the meantime, could you deal with the materials? Shenza is in charge of our supplies, so it might be good to talk to him about first. Well, I think we're set for a plan. Thanks for your consultation. Now, whoops, no. Now let's get this train dressed up and give her a proper farewell she deserves. This train's going out in a blaze of glory. Start playing your Bon Jovi. <laughs> the plan's coming together to make good speed. I'm going to try and enlist some more help from among our friends back at Yafturo. I'll leave the materials in your care. I think I saw Shenza over to the southeast. Thanks, walk. I mean, I'll just walk there. It's not that far. Man, that is a dome. How are you doing, Alve? It's a shame Sid and his engineers aren't here to help. If they were, I'd expect they'd to turn it into a flying train. Yeah, Sid's back in Aero Eorzeo. Same with uh, Biggs and Wedge. Shenza's given me a list of materials. We'll see if they have everything they need. Graha, how are the plans? Right, I put my knowledge gained on the first to use. Well, your very extensive knowledge, yes. Until you ripped our souls out of our bodies. Thanks. Oh, you didn't rip mine. I'm fine. Should be enough lumber for the armor. What else do we need? Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. What can I help for? What can I do for you? 
Aether Ac Etheric Cannons. Interesting. I have an idea where we can get the conductive metal, so I'll take care of it. I'm not sure about the fire crystals, though. Might be best if you spoke directly with a miner. Now leave that to you. Leave it to me. Great. You're friends with Latte, aren't you? One of the best miners around. If a if anyone can get you the crystals you're after, it's her. All right, we're going back to town. And I'm lazy, so we are immediately teleporting. Well, I sip on my coffee. All right, I'm back. All right. Light, light, lighty, lighty, lighty. Oh, we need your help. Oh, Vader, what brings you around these parts? We need you to mine some really good fire crystals. The Pierce fire crystals, you say? I think I heard about them before, but what was that about? <laughs> Alright. Oh, oh, oh. A hot commodity. A way to obtain fire crystals on the tip of Laity's tongue. Now I remember. Cerulean Anilays. You can find them south of town. They're actually... They actually ingest fire crystals and keep them in their gut, if you can believe it. If you want the purest crystals, though, you'll have to go to the oldest, toughest Anilays. Nothing you can't handle, right? I'll show you where you can find some to hunt. Looking forward to seeing why Airville thinks so highly of you. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, this one is very fitting for this. Ixion, a Final Fantasy X summon. Personally, one of my favorites in ten, Because you can heal him using Thunder Magic on himself, and he has Sickle, which is his horn. Does a lot of damage. And if you're wondering how I got this mount, there is a world event fight and you unlock him after getting 10 of his horns. Yay day! There's quite a lot of fiery wildlife in these parts. We think it's due to the Cerulean, but no one's safe to sure. Uh, safe. Okay. Blah, blah. Good job, me. Still, it's not often you see a bigger dominating sword. And that's what you need. What you'll ha have to do is hunt a few of their kinds, establish yourself as threat. That, that's known to draw their leader. Oh, so I'm just gonna kill a bunch of them. Fast spirit. While you're on the hunt, I'll keep watch nearby to make sure no hapless travelers come stumbling in. All right. My turn. <clears throat> oh, I didn't find any. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, I thought they were gonna spawn there, but it's like, no, okay. I actually like that. I would do that, but I'll leave that to them. I have story. I'll be doing everything one day, just not now. Now. You're dead. Fire crystal's blue. A clear fire crystal. A fire crystal of the highest purity taken from the belly of a beast. Oh, so really pure fire crystals are actually like a blue. Nice. 
Amazing, you dealt the beast in no time at all. You need the crystals delivered to Shenza? I'll see that he gets it. Oh, okay, thank you. I was heading over there. These fire crystals are for the train, aren't they? I heard about your plans there at the dome. Well, thank you for going to such lengths to stop these evaders. And though he grumbled if he knew was asking, please take care of Ellen Shimpa. Anyway, I best be on my way. As you as well. And in case you're in case you're going to meet her, I saw Wakuma head to the station. Alright. For this one, I didn't think it was worth teleporting, so I'm right here. Gives me time to drink some coffee. Mm. Yeah, it's old coffee. Don't mess with me, I'm level 97. Soon be level 98, and I think get my next ability. Yeah, Repraisal. Which to me doesn't sound amazing, but Repraisal lowers all nearby enemy damage by 10%. So an extra 5 seconds? I think it's actually going to be quite good. I'm At the moment, in my brain, I'm thinking, oh, it's not a move. Ugh. Wasted my time. In the long run, though. Oh, yeah. Here, Bill. Taking care of the crystals, have you? Thanks, Bruce. Uh, proceed to pace here, too. All right. I take away got Fontaine, everyone. Shenza told me you got the crystals for him. Good work. I've just received, returned from looking for extra help. We'll see it. Uh, we'll see in a moment who answers the call. All will be, uh, all be in readiness for them when they arrive. Damn it! I'm idle for a moment, and all I can think about is my home. Keep your chin up, Aaronville. We'll be on our way soon, and we'll find your mother. It'll be good to see her after see her after all these years. There's so much I like to ask her about her time together with my papa. Oh, she'll talk your ears off. Once my mother starts, there's no stopping her. I wouldn't want it any other way. There we go, a little smile before the battle. Right, let's return to helping where we can. The real work begins when the extra hands arrive. Let me guess, it's all our friends from throughout the expansion. It's gonna be the Palo Palo, the Halo Halo, and so on, so on. It's gonna be Fontaine. Gonna be the stripper I met at three o'clock. We what? Yep, just what I thought. The Akoi. Man, we're about to play Choo Choo Charles Hardcore. Thank you, thank you for making the trek here. To be honest, I wasn't expecting so many of you. Since the attack on Tiliola. I had been wondering if there was all I could do to help. So, when I heard about upcoming operation for Valcona, I left at the chance to do my part. Peace will be restored, now we can enjoy a nice cup of mezca. This is our home, it will do whatever it takes to keep it safe. Man, that guy has shown up a lot more in this story than I thought. I thought it was just, oh, a seasick guy in the ship. No, nope, he is. And he's not that bad of a character. Even though I still don't know much about what well, we know about him, but he hasn't shown much, much, but still, he is, he's decent. While I assist with the efforts here, High Luminary Gerfler does the same at the Capitol. Yeah, Gerfler. I'm truly grateful. With all of us working together, there's nothing we can't accomplish. Let's do it, my friends. Let's get to it, my friends. Yes, let's get to it. Wasn't expecting a song to break out randomly.
Yeah, I thought it was gonna be a montage, but now a montage with some song playing. Wasn't expecting that. I want some jiggly shines. Make me jingly shines. <laughs> Get her off the cannon, please. I don't trust her on the cannon. <laughs> That's cute. Meanwhile, me and Graha are just talking it up. So I take it this is taking a couple days, because it a few days have passed. Oh wait, here we go. Alright, so I'm gonna take a guess two days have passed. Alright everyone, that'll do it. Took two days and two nights, but looks like the train's done. You've done your part. Leave it to us to finish mountain the armor and cannons. You have yourself and have yourselves a hard-earned rest. Thank you all again for answering the call. Let me thank us now. Whenever you need help, just give us a holler. Indeed, we must do our part with our nations when our nation's in peril. Here, here, we love Turl, and we love you, Val Walkamont. I love y'all too. Your kindness and goodwill will not be in vain. This, I promise. Okay, so I'm feeling once again on the train, it's gonna become a dungeon. Because we have to protect it on the train, and then I think the jump up. Is it gonna be a dungeon? If so, ooh, it's gonna be a very interesting dungeon. Olika, oh, thanks again for your help. And I wouldn't have been able to finish it so quickly without you. Go, rest up, friend. Won't be long before the train's ready. Thanks, man. Okay, thanks for the rest, I'm ready. All aboard. Despite his fatigue, there is an undeniable air of satisfaction about Walika. Walika. From here on out, we won't stop work until the train's ready. If you have any preparations, now will be a good time to see to them. The boarding call will come before you know it. Is there anyone to talk to, or no? Doesn't look like it at the moment. Hey, Ixion, uh, Chocobo Barding. <laughs> nice, I got that too. Alright, I guess it's time, everybody. I have a feeling I know what's about to happen, uh, so let me just do this. It's just flatbread, it's not amazing. But, it XP boost and all that, that's why I'm mostly eating it. Alright, I think this is gonna lead to a a, a, a a dungeon. I do. We have to protect the the train so we're gonna be on top doing what we do with the bow and then we have to get off oh man if this is a dungeon it's gonna be a really cool dungeon that's if a big if oh let's see what happens this one's gonna be voiced easily Right, we're just about done with the modifications, but I have to stress that we cannot afford a test run. I mean, yeah, it's a one-way trip. There's no it's testing. It's fine. We understand and accept the risks. We have faith in you and your craft. And if I die, I'll be quick. <laughs> I'm sure everything will go to plan. With all the hard work everyone's put in, it couldn't be otherwise. Please don't jinx it. Charles is coming! Get on the train! I'm sorry. I need to play Choo Choo Charles Finished all day. at last! Oh. Okay, that looks different than what I thought it would. It's a bull. Okay. Behold! The pinnacle of locomotive engineering! 
the Dawn Blazer. <laughs> Amazing! Yep, she's been fitted with wooden armor and a crystal grounding rod to mitigate the effects of lightning. Naturally, we had to overhaul the engine so it could handle the extra weight. I also had her outfitted with the ferric cannons, the better to contend with enemy forces. And as they're modeled upon those used at the Crystarium, I can attest to their potency. So, what do you reckon? Given the tight turnaround, I'd say we did a damn good job. <laughs> it, you know, I'm not gonna, it's a shame we have to blow her up. <laughs> <laughs> Glad she's to your liking. I hate to let go of such a beautiful piece of machinery, but I know you'll give her a proper send off for us. Oh, yeah. At the risk of spoiling the mood, we should probably get moving. Yep, you won't get far if you let them pummel you from the air, but you'll be safe enough once you reach the tunnel. In that case, I will conceal the train with a spell once everyone is on board. Don't tire yourself out, Graha. It should last long enough for us to reach the tunnel unnoticed. I, I, you don't, don't tire, come on, it's gonna be a lot of magic for you, it's a lot of aether, because that train's moving. A big train, too. Right. So everyone, are we ready? We've done all we can. Rest is up to you. Okay, let's make sure his wife doesn't die. We don't need that happening. I won't let you down. Train. Next stop and only stop. Gasolani. Here we go. It's found by seven. At this speed, we should arrive at the dome in no time at all. But not before we're spotted, I expect. Stay alert! <sighs> Here we go. Stand fast, everyone! I need you to 
take over for me. see if we actually broke in because I fear maybe I see fire and the door still intact oh that was too close I hate to disappoint everybody still alive Erinville mostly This door broken? It didn't look like it. I can look into the smoke. Oh, we did. Never mind. I stand corrected. This is the dungeon. Ooh, and cool. The dungeon started on the train, but oh, whatever. That was a nice cutscene. At last, the enemy stronghold. We should hurry before they can regroup. Let's go and find out what's inside. Ooh, the music. That's 100% a dungeon. Question is, do I want to do the dungeon now or next time? For it's getting a bit late for me. The Vanguard. No, accessible. Damn. I really want to do this dungeon, but I know if I do it, it's going to be a while. There, let me see. The Vanguard. Zorozhov retreats to the dome in Yasalani. But not before laying siege to his home and slaying his own father. This foul deed cannot go unpunished. So Waklamut lays plan to pierce the dome and pursue him. To the end to that end, the engineers of Zoctural Railing refit their cerulean powered tr train, Tristan the Dawn Blazer. And after avoiding fire from Zorolja's forces, successfully send it careening into the fortress bring Bridging the dome from the, to the outside world. With the path forward now open, the battle for Tuliolo begins as you and your co companions take your first bold steps into enemy territory. Alright, I got two all rounders. An Alize. I'd rather have walk. Let's just do it. I like this party. Don't make me regret doing this. Please go smoothly. The man gone. Oh, yeah.
Kangra, huh? R7 sentries, prepared to engage. Okay, are these the R7 sentries? They are. Alright, uh, everyone come back. This last one for the first boss, which I don't know what it is from here. Oh, I'm gonna just wait here. Interesting. That's an interesting way of attack.
Let me see what the mask looks like. You know, I had to see the entire set, but I might like that. Oh, oh no. So far, I'm liking this dungeon. It's a bit loud, I'm sorry. Oh.
way better. This is looking cool.
I think we're getting there. Scarf not talking much, by the way. Such a serious breach would be allowed, but it ends now. Who are you? Xander the Snake Skinner? We were dreaming our honor with your lives. Something's gonna happen. His health is going down like no one's business. Oh!
Well, that was an interesting dungeon. I really like the theme. Hands to Frazel. Please end. Please end. I'm here to call it. I'm tired. What greeted us was not the home that I had left behind. There was no mistaking we had reached the Yasulani. And yet... It was wholly unlike my memories. The lands of my childhood had changed beyond imagine. To where had I returned? We tread on, the darkened skies above a mirror to my heart, clouded with fear and uncertainty. How bizarre. This cannot be Yasulani, can it? Heritage found. Hmm. Good, good, I can end it. I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. What happened here? There was no sensation of passing into a different world. This couldn't be a reflection, could it? This is Yasulani. I was prepared for something strange, but this... It's like another world. I... don't understand. Alright, well, I'm gonna end this one here. Umbral Static. Hmm. Well, we got dungeon all that in us, but yeah, I'm gonna call it here. It's getting a little late for me, but I will see you next time. And goodbye. <laughs>